happening now on the campus of the University of Virginia, an active investigation into an alleged sexual assault involving a fraternity. The university held an emergency meeting tonight to address the accusations, and now school leaders are promising change. Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Jeff Goldberg reports now from Charlottesville. The Board of Visitors approving a zero tolerance policy for sexual assault on campus, and they may even extend the suspension of activities for fraternities if real changes are not being seen. Here at Peabody Hall, post-it notes honoring survivors of sexual assault and also criticizing the university for ignoring this problem for too long. With protesters silently holding signs, the Board of Visitors and student leaders discussing the significant impact of alcohol on sexual assault, with some students proposing a ban on hard liquor at fraternities. Other possible changes include more victim support services, encouraging victims to report the crimes, and increasing police presence on campus grounds. It's a problem of student culture. The Rolling Stone article details a 2012 assault at the Phi Kappa Psi fraternity house in which a student named Jackie was the victim of a gang rape. And I hope that those bystanders have the moral courage the moral courage to come forward. The article also faults UVA for its poor response to the incident and to other cases of sexual assault. My initial reaction was numbness, but the numbness then turned to anger and a deep grief. Following the meeting, hope and skepticism moving forward. Time will tell, but I don't feel optimistic at the moment. I hope that it's a good first step. And here, a memorial at Peabody Hall for survivors of sexual assault. Virginia Attorney General Mark Herring is going to be taking a look at possible changes to state law to battle the issue of sexual assault. After the new year, the Board of Visitors is going to be coming back with some more specific recommendations on how to deal with this problem on campus. In Charlottesville, Jeff Goldberg, ABC 7 News. All right, Jeff, thank you.